The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? What could one gain in exchange for his life? Whoever is ashamed of me and of my words in this faithless and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels. He also said to them, Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see that the kingdom of God has come in power. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So yesterday I had uh, time with uh, the kids as all saints. And so they were on the topic of, uh, when I got into the class, they were talking about Saul and his disobedience. You know, so the teacher was on that. Saul had gone, you know, in battle as the Lord had told him. And God had told him to take nothing away from there, you know. And, 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 he destroyed some things and then kept some things to himself. So I said, what was that? So they said, disobedience. Okay, good. So how do we grow in obedience? To an editor, you know, you have to listen, you have to trust, uh, you have to have faith, you know, and all that. So we're growing in that. I said, how do you grow in friendship with your, you know, you are your friends. They say, you know, you'll be there for each other, you assist each other. You trust each other, you cry together, you laugh together. It's all sorts of answers and all. Beautiful. In that class, you don't give to give homeless. You know. all, all you need is they, they, they give you homeless. But it is a fantastic, fantastic thing to give a homeless. But it's more fantastic to put the homeless into practice. <laughs> More fantastic. Which one do you think is more important? To give a beautiful home or to practice it? That's why a priest cannot, you, 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 you cannot say I'm holy because I gave home. No, it's when I put it into practice. Then I become useful in the kingdom of God. It is an abomination. An abomination for the wicked to present himself in the presence of God and have semi, semi beautiful thoughts but the heart is not with God. It's an abomination in the presence of God. So, one can sell himself and give all his self. St. Paul says that about you. Give all yourself, give of yourself, everything, but no love, no faith. You know, the modern world is a world where, as St. James is speaking, you have faith, no works. Your faith is there. You know what we always say? Then we go to the other angle. Let's walk and we don't need faith. <laughs> That's the modern world. Then we go to the extreme. And the devil likes the extreme. Meanwhile, virtue lies in the middle, comes like when I say So now we are now belabored by work that is empty, that has no faith. We have got to the other extreme. So now, it is far easier, I tell you, to go feed all the hungry and the poor people in the society. But you know what? We do not want to adore. We do not want to bend the knee at the name of Jesus. We do not want to celebrate the mass. We do not want to receive Holy Communion in spirit of, in, in, in purity of heart. We do not want to go to confession. I tell you what, that's like good enough. That's what we say. It is an abomination. 
The action of a wicked person, the action of an impure person is an abomination before God. It bears no fruit. It is vain. It is empty. That's why it's all fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. And that's why the devil is growing. He's, 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 he's so happy about it. Third graders say, I love their own way of life. Third graders, they tell you, see, Father, even when you do good, the kingdom of God is expanding. That's what they say. They tell me, and I say, then I say, it expands. When you tell the truth, the kingdom of God does what? They say it expands. Everybody's hand will be like that. Third graders, they are sweetest. And then when you do, when you tell the lie, what happens? The kingdom of God begins to be big. <laughs> the kingdom of evil one. <laughs> so that's the way to teach them how to grow in love and goodness. What do you tell our generation that is filled with filthy works? What do you tell our generation that doesn't care about the malice and the poison that is inside? All he cares about is the edifice that they are building. And the edifice is built on sand. It crumbles. The Lord desires unshakable faith. The faith where we die to ourselves and our plans. The faith where we die and carry our cross daily and follow. The faith where obedience is better than sacrifice. Where we obey and knowledge of God grows and our love for Him grows. What do you think? There's some. Some, some lady told me. Some lady told me just recently. He said, See, my husband got me. A new dress, got me a new car. And actually, what I what I needed was a hug. <laughs> okay. The husband seems to have satisfied all good things. But the wife desired a hug. Which she didn't get. Is, is the husband satisfied? Her? No. The Lord wants our hug. <laughs> He wants a relationship. But all the time we are working and saying, you know, I love you so much, you know, buy more things, you know, stop the whole environment. But it's just our hearts. It's just our hearts. When our hearts are in the right spot with Him, whatever we do, no matter how little, will be important, will be great. He wants the little things. He wants the little things. He wants a heart that is crucified, a heart that is broken, a heart that doesn't care about the outside, that cares so much about going to confession and opening our heart to him and saying, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. And show it in the little things. That's what he cares about. Blessed the man who greatly delights in the Lord's command. Who delights in it? Who delights in it? Who loves it? Who cherishes what the Lord commands? That's the power. And Jesus says, I call you friends, says the Lord. But I may mean to you everything that I've learned from my Father. Friendship. Friendship. It is that friendship which says, God, you know what, Jesus? I can do all things for you. You see? That's the friendship. The friendship where? We will not be ashamed of our friend. We can stand with him in thick and in thin. We can be in adoration all day, even if nobody shows up. That's what is it. We can pray our rosary right on the street corner and walk the street and pray the rosary. That's it. Friendship. John Rianus says our public are not those around us. Our public are the saints and the angels. They are the ones looking at us. We are so afraid of the public opinion today that we fail to stand with Jesus. Jesus says, if you are ashamed of me in the presence of men and women, I will be ashamed of you at the end of the day. Look at that. I will not stand with you. That means the advocate, the judge says, I will be ashamed of you in the presence of my father. Can you win your case? You can't win any case there anymore. It is better 
to win our souls that to win the world. I have discovered in my short existence in the world that when you win the world, you are the poorest person on earth. When you allow your soul to be won by God, you are the richest on earth. The richest. And you don't need to display your riches. God sees your riches in your heart. Let us rise with you. God our Father, we come before you in our emptiness, in our weakness and poverty and our brokenness. And we know you always use them because you say your grace is sufficient for us. We pray sensually today for our Holy Father. Pray for our bishops, for Bishop Thomas Zinkola. Pray that as we continue to work daily for the salvation of our own souls and their own salvation also, they may continue to lead us on the path of sanctity, the path of offering ourselves, even offering reparation for the brokenness for the sinfulness and the sacrileges that we ourselves have committed, for our brothers and sisters have committed, even in the sacred temples and the sanctuary of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray for all our priests, praying that we may stand firm as friends of the bridegroom who is inviting everybody to the wedding feast of the Lamb. The wedding feast has been prepared already. God is inviting and He has chosen us as servants to go to the byways, to go to the wrong ways of life, to go to the street corners, to go to the infidels, to go to the, the hungry, the thirsty for God, those who are in different situations, who have been invited, brothers and sisters, to go around, to invite them to the banquet of life, praying that today, we will have the openness, the courage to go out without being ashamed of our friend, the brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord okay. Let us pray for you, my dear beloved brothers and sisters, praying that you all also will have the openness of mind to belong to Jesus in thick and thin, to belong to Jesus even when you are standing alone to belong to Jesus at all situations of life, to seek to love him, to seek to befriend him, even now that his heart desires the love of consolation and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord yeah, yeah. Pray for our friend John Fisher, who in his own life and conduct taught us to live in truth and to rest in Jesus. To live in truth and to rest in Jesus. Pray that today, the Blessed Mother may continue to work on his soul to prepare him to the final call, the final and beautiful call for him to share in the true banquet of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. Heavenly Father, holy is your name. Give us the grace that we be able to embrace all the trials and the tribulations and the testing that will come on account of standing with you, on account of being your friend, so that truly we'll be trusted and faithful friends to the last. We'll make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.